And uh, seems like we're not done following Scruffy as he will be playing against Outfox Gaming in this loser's round five. Holy crap, Outfox. Oh yeah, the the one that didn't sleep, that ended up going to match against Magical in the first round, now gets a chance at uh, Scruffy in the loser's final. Looking forward to that. See what he's learned in this past few weeks. Okay. I am really curious. Because I think they got their key like two weeks ago. <laughs> and he's been enjoying the heck out of the game. Playing all the time. And I, I think what really helped him, I believe he's from Australia, and Toby really put in a big patch lately that fixed a lot of the lag issues oh, by... Oh, that's uh, right. Yeah, some type, some type of rollback just on animations, I think. So you yeah, can it's, predict a bit. Yeah, so what they do is they have... It's pretty standard for most FPS, as you see it, where the as you move, like mm -hmm. you will see just the movement continue forever until something changes. And when... And so basically it's the same idea, except when you click a unit, the unit moves and then it just keeps your local client just assumes about where it's going to keep moving because the server is handling all the calculations. And they also combine that with a bit of delay. So it's a bit higher input lag, but it makes it a lot less stuttery. Well, and, you know, it makes the game much more beautiful for these players from out west before we have, uh, yeah, really far west, before we get more servers up and running across the world. As, of course, this is still alpha, so early stages, great game so far, and great games today as well. It'll just keep uh, getting better. And this is, of course, a best of one for this lower bracket finals. Whoever wins this moves on to the grand finals against Magical, who is aiming for I don't know how many more titles he's had. I, I think... Other than the one time I... Did he lose to Santa that one time? He did lose to Santa that one time. Yeah, so that one and time he lost, he lost to Hydra to when Hydra came back. Yeah, when Hydra and came then... back, Hydra won a few. Yeah, well, Hydra, Hydra and Euthermal are definitely stronger, but other than that, Magical is definitely have, up there. And then we have Mixu coming in from time to time, who kind of does his own thing, so doesn't try to identify the best way to play, just plays for fun. To a very strong player, but uh, doesn't get the furthest out of everyone. Does win the two v two with uh, Hydra? That was interesting, and I'd love to see him with Scruff against Scruffy and Ben next. That would be an interesting trio. Oh, duo. that would be so cool! <laughs> oh, if I could get them in next tournament. I mean, Hydra sometimes still plays around, but I don't know if we can convince them to play next tournament in the two v two next week. Mm. Oh, that'd be so that'd be so good. That'd be so cool. Yeah, I, I think Hydra's been saying he's waiting for a bit more uh, tech patch, pa passes to come through before he starts replaying a lot. And he's been concentrating a lot of StarCraft 2, so... And Mixu as well. Mixu has been playing a lot of stuff. Nation Wars especially. Uh, playing with Serral, trying to win honors for his country. Trying to win and for Finland. Yeah. Yep, for Finland, exactly. So, top left, Outfoxed, playing as Orzum. And the bottom right, Scruffy, playing as Orzum in the red. So, uh, another mirror of Orzum. And Orzum is our... It's our faction of the day. Hmm. Apparently, which is, which is which is fun because we've seen Mala win both of the last games as well. When uh, it was Scruffy versus uh, Magical, we saw Mala win both of them, and then now we're just going to go Orzum for the final game. So, curious how it's going to end up in the finals if Scruffy goes in. If they're both going to be switching it up, all we know is that we're starting with Fool's Bay. You said for the first map of that we uh, are, grand finals. It is in the tournament rules that the grand final starts with Fool's Bay. Ooh, interesting. That'll be fun. Yeah. I I'm very happy to see that. I mean, okay, I think it's, it, it the fact that it needs to be forced is a little bit curious, but, you know, it's still kind of, what? Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're seeing a Santa play here. Oh, yeah. Where's the proxy? Mm. We got, oh, no, it's not a proxy, it's just the early Legion Hall. So no, it's not it's proxied, not. but it is aggressive. I mean, if you do some plays like Magical's been doing, just sending two Zentari in both middle, in both owl lines... And you get him while your opponent is on the map and doing other stuff. The issue here is that, uh, well, okay, the teapot's coming oh, in. It's going to see yeah, the expansion's not it. there. And that's going to be worrisome. At this point, Scruffy's like, okay, no, they, time to play know. fully defensive. Yep. Okay. How Fox playing some, uh, some, uh, some Foxy builds? Is it going to work out? We'll see Scruffy making a lot of units and playing defensive at this point. How Fox going for a little bit of tech. They are kind of prepped. They're kind of ready. They're... Definitely been very cheesy. Cheese Say, is just a way of life. Cheese is a way of life. At least if you have cows. 
but even I don't know if you have cheaper goats. Even if you have cheaper goats, you can do what you, you can live a very cheesy life no matter what. It won't stop you, your dairy. You can try. I don't know. Oh, depends on the person. It does depend on the person. I have, I don't. I mean, I have no rational reason for preferring co cow cheese over goat cheese, but the idea of goat cheese just always makes it feels weird to me. <laughs> like, it's not the taste, taste, it's just it. the idea of a goat. Oh. I don't know. There's a peculiar taste to it as well. And, yeah, so, well, at least Foxy did get the early bases. He's going to get his expansion now very late. And if you look at just the numbers, you do need to do quite a bit of damage to get the advantage of not having that early base. Scruffy on this side just getting that very early tower to defend against any type of pillar push coming in from that side. Of which there could be. It's just that we're it's a complete switch off. Uh, Fox has clearly given up on the whole fast aggression style. And shifted over instead to more of the standard macro build. Nothing too out of the ordinary, nothing too weird. Just kinda going. Yeah. He realized once Scruffy saw it, it wasn't gonna happen. So let's see how they play the proper macro game, because they've been playing. Yeah. They've been winning best of ones the entire series. I'm curious they've been doing the strategy consistently. Yeah, perhaps. Like we said, like it's a strategy games are not perfect. There's not a perfect way to play. There's multiple ways you can do. It. And here comes the infuse. Not something we see that often. He jumps his opponent's units and gets so much more more damage off because of it. But at the same time, Scruffy just needs to run away, and he's willing to fight there. Oh. He has a slightly better arc. More units attacking. It's the arc. It's the arc. Scruffy's arc was perfect, and unfortunately, even with Infuse, Foxy couldn't. Our Outfox simply couldn't handle that. Like their forces weren't able to deal with that fight, and now they are stuck, falling back with nothing to fall back to. Yeah, he's basically done yet, so he doesn't even have the hallowed ground. Okay, the hallowed ground's coming in in a few seconds. He'll be fine. And yeah, getting that is the getting as much damage as he can, and Outfox cancel just in time as more of his units coming out. Shift over to Soul Foundry. Well, on top of having two Legion Halls, he's, re he's ready to go to the next step, and he should have a few more against his opponents, but as you said, Gruffy winning that fight gives him a nice little lead in that department, although he still hasn't made that many units yet. No, that, that leads going into the economy. Scruffy's yeah. playing the late game. Maybe not even That's... late game, just a strong timing in the mid game. It could be enough at this point, just a big You're right, push. there's outfoxed. If they don't build another expansion and have the units to work with, they... They will be very vulnerable to a timing push like that in the next three or four minutes. Well, no, Wild Fox is making a lot of units. He's going for the so Founder. It's just a question of which units he wants to go for next. Is it going to be Absolver to really help defending those pushes? But we haven't seen much Absolvers today besides the game that got cancelled with, uh, with that crash. So it would have been an interesting play to the see that. The game that, that uh, would not push. be. <laughs> game that would not be. And of course, Scruffy is not like Santa. He won't do the same strategy three times in a row. I am okay. What is Outfoxed up to? Because you got the you got the Soul Foundry doing nothing. You have no Angelarium. You have no nothing building out of the Soul Foundry. You don't have a House of the Fading Saints for Hallowers. I just don't understand. Uh, curious, because as you said, there's only Zentari, like full on Zentari. Oh no, that Zentari is stuck there. That's really unfortunate for him. Well, I mean, if they lose that Legion Hall, I guess that would save the Zentari. Uh, does he have enough range to attack from behind the rocks? I don't. No, I mean, it's 300 range. Because Scruffy's only going to send two in, right? Yeah, exactly. He doesn't want yeah. to send more than that. <laughs> Which is wise. <laughs> Outfoxed was prepared. Outfoxed would not be Outfoxed. Exactly. And is this just Centauri Rush? Is this all it says? Like, it's, as soon as Aryans pop up, this is over. Even, I mean, honestly, even the Hallowers being built up is going to make this difficult. Yeah, we talk about like Scruffy like winning that first fight, but just getting that expansion so much sooner gave him a very, very early lead in the game. Uh, getting that extra economy boost, and now he's just going to keep powering through, getting that early third. And on Fox, his better his better way to victory is just one big timing attack. Uh, but his build it just feels a bit slow in some areas, and getting that third base much lower. Yeah, let's see what he can do, because Scruffy does have enough for a pillar now if he wants to. You're going to cancel? Oh. No, oh, don't cancel. Oh, Fox just lost 350 alloy. That's right as they were getting their Angelarium. Well, their Angelarium is not quite up yet, but they are still getting the Angelarium. They're still getting the tech. Curious if they're going to be going for with that because they have many options. And I can't see what they're going to be building because they cannot build the tech yet. I was wondering what Scruffy was. If Scruffy wanted to go into the natural and try and get the kill there, but 
As we saw last game, sometimes just committing to a big push is not the best idea, especially if you don't have the best retreat path. So instead, just keep moving out and outfox going for a small Zentari counterattack. Uh, Scruffy has a few units nearby, so that counterattack could do some damage in Scruffy's natural. As, uh, yeah, two Zentaris coming in there. And Scruffy's natural. Uh, I'll, yeah, and Scruffy's natural. And there comes the Zentari. Tara pushing him back. Scruffy was in position the whole time. And of course, to get the Hallowers coming in to follow up, there's just nothing that. Nothing that Alphox can do with pure aggression. Tech? Sure. Getting some air units? Sure. Pure aggression? No. Yeah, Expansion? Right. Sure. But they haven't done that, and they are falling behind. Scruffy already getting their fourth. I mean, Outfox is just not feeling it today. Why do you say that? He got to the loot. He got to okay, the not feeling it in this game. You're right. Yeah. I should say. Not feeling it in this game. He might, he might find a way. He might find a way for the next push, right? And oof, the few shots, a few free shots from those Zephyrs. And that big Zephyr League can make such a big difference in these fights. Here come more Zephyrs from Outfox. He's making a few more units at a time. And where does Scruffy want to go next? Scruffy's not committing to anything too hard, but at this point he might feel he's able to. I can try. Oh, Zentari's Zentari finally getting freed. Nope, it's oh. dead. It's getting yeah. dead before it gets freed. Well, you know, it's about to say, Outfox. Uh, Outfox oh, doesn't win nice this. If Outfox oh, doesn't win this fight, it's over. If Outfox wins this fight, they have a chance to get expansion up. This is a most important fight. Pillar comes down from both sides. Outfox is able to jump into the pillar and is able to start really tearing apart their opponent's forces. Scruffy has no real path to retreat either, except yeah, the windstep. Yeah, that was just such a great surround. Moving that windstep forward to just get that full surround, like windstepping on top of him with half his units. I was afraid going up that ramp with such a with such a small choke point, but instead he just windstep forward, teleported on top, and he just had to break an arc and her opponent, his opponent. Of course, Scruffy behind us still had a decent army with that Halor, able to do some decent damage when those units come down. Exactly. Now it's a question of what happens next. What is the follow-up? Is there going to be tech? Is it going to be expansion? There is going to be an expansion. Outfox yeah. does start getting their third. This is, of course, while Scruffy has their fourth. So Outfox is... They're catching up in economy. They're not going to be... It, like, they would have been dead in the water if they had lost that fight and hadn't been able to expand. It's still an uphill struggle. As Outfox has to get their economy relatively on track. And their army is... The value is equal, but mostly because the Magi are adding quite a bit of value for the low supply. Yeah, it's been some... Oh, there come the Howlers that will bring it up quite a bit. There's only one Howler on Scruffy's side, but he'll be making more. Howlers are very potent units, and everyone loves them pretty much. Especially with Scruffy going full mass Zephyr. Because again, yeah. Howlers deal extra damage against heavy units where Zephyrs are. And Zephyrs also have a tendency to bunch up because they're ranged units. They don't have to split up to attack. Hallowers are therefore very good against Matt Zephyr. The only weakness is that Zephyrs can just win step onto the Hallowers and kill them. Oh, that's an expensive run that's by he was going for. Two Zephyrs on a run by is like oof. Well, it, I mean I get it. They're easier like they're easier to maneuver, right? You can run away they are. easier. But that was expensive. <laughs> okay, In another case, that distraction did kind of work out. So just get Mass Hallower, get Centauri Magi Mass Hallower, and then from there, Outfox yeah. just needs some Pyre if they want to use the Pillar, which they do not have and are not going for at the moment. Yeah, they, they don't really need it. This is not a composition that depends on the Pillar. Pillar is always powerful no matter what, but this is, I, this is a type of army with so many range units, it's all about attacking, pulling back, especially with five, six Hallowers that she's going for. Uh, you just want to poke, move back, poke, move back. And I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, it's yeah. it definitely has that, that ability that can bypass the pillar to some degree. It's more just that if Scruffy drops a pillar, or yeah, if Scruffy drops a pillar, Outfox is going to have to deal with that pillar. Well, and it's you know, easier you just, to deal with it, a pillar of your own. It's depend where Scruffy's pillar is. If it, if it's something he needs to defend, yes. If it's anywhere else on the map, he doesn't have to engage there. He has You're a right. very mobile army, so he can just run away from anything. And at this point, yeah, see, he's just moving in, moving out, moving in, moving out. Uh, but of course, so, once your opponent also gets Hallowers, then that's when the real battle happens. It's uh, you can't just out out maneuver when he has as many Hallowers as you do. And look at that arc Scruffy is setting up. Wow. That's going to be not... that. No, Doubt Fox, do not go into that. That arc is that arc is death. The only thing I can think of is if... I mean, Outfox might be trying to bait Scruffy into dropping Pillar at a position that Outfox can then run around. And they did! However, Outfox is choosing to fight in the Pillar range. 
does take it out immediately. However, their forces are simply not numerous enough to deal with this. The Hallowers must retreat as nothing is there to block them off. Back to base, we are getting more Hallowers, more Zephyrs. Nothing really to handle the frontline defense for Outfox. At this point, uh, Scruffy, Scruffy could kill his opponent just by getting a lot more units. But the thing is, it's so hard to engage into all those Hallowers. Those Hallowers can just move back and move forward. So Outfox really discovered a composition that works well for him, where he can just, you know, pick up, pick at his opponents and just win fights by uh, by being more efficient with them. Let's see, let's see how he goes next. Okay, again with the run, run by. by. Yep. Oof, that one's getting killed. Let's, but let's he's buy some time. Home. That's that's four zephyrs. That's four zephyrs to buy time to make sure the expansion's fully upgraded and get a fourth. Uh, okay, try to get a fourth. as Zentari does spot it, but still, that Zentari's not going to kill the fourth. Yeah, it buys time. Yeah, but, but that's an expensive way of finding time. Let's see what he does next, and now oh, they're just going to die. They are just going to die. They had, they had, they were there to die. The whole point was, let's get a fourth while pulling my opponent's attention to the other side of the map. And that's eight? Eight Hallowers, man. We, we rarely see that many and numbers. and no Zentari. Or very, very few Zentari. This Zentari's many Hallowers, the... Zentari is the more obvious choice, both for frontlining and for the extra Hallowed Ground from the Hallowers providing the range attack for the Zentari. And for the Aether cost as well. It really helps. And for the Aether cost, yes. The fact that they're an alloy sink. Well, that's how, at, at the very least, slow down his opponent very much. He, get, he has time to get his units back in place. Uh, but Scruffy had the position. And Scruffy... Well, I don't have too much power at this point. They don't. Uh, it's all about the next fights. Who can win the fights and in position and going back into the base. So that can always be dangerous as you're, there's, it's harder to get out of here. He's really committing to this push and he doesn't have enough for, for his own pillar as well. I don't think that much to be worried about. This is it's, a it's very a strong army. push. Their opponent has to go uphill back into their own base to fight it. Their opponent is down 40 supply. The army value is down by 2,000. Like, this is. Not the position that Outfox can defend from without taking significant losses, and if they take significant losses, that economy advantage just compounds. As we have a fifth base coming up from Scruffy, Outfox does have their fourth, but they don't have the army to really support it. Okay, one step forward, and that's going to be a dangerous proposition. As <gasps> the shard just... goes down, though. Whew. Okay, that is huge. A couple of Hallowers as well go down. So Outfox, their focus fire micro has been on point. Yeah, they've been really good at, at getting the right fights, right? He doesn't have necessarily the best competition. No! Oh, they moved! This is not a they fight. didn't! Oh no! They didn't attack move! They just moved! They lost everything in a bad or, bad command. This is... Oh, it's this only is Hallowers almost left. recoverable. Yeah, oh. Hallowers. He, he needs to, Scruffy needs to keep pushing for this. Hallowers needs to be taken down at this point. That's how he goes for it. He can win step forward on top. There's nothing left to defend. Hallowers just running as fast as he can. But there's almost nothing left as Scruffy pushing for it. Okay, there's a bit of a range here. And, and... Yeah, Scruffy has this position he wanted, but those Hallowers from the back still dealing heavy, heavy damage. That's the only thing that Outfox has. Those, those Hallowers are still able to deal with the Zephyrs reasonably well for cost. Oh, yeah. I mean, so that is, get, that, is the, that is the that is Outfox's way back into this game at the moment. It, it's been that way for a while, hasn't it? Like, it really has. Start, and unfortunately, the they lost so many for free on that one push in the middle of the map. We say that, but he still has like five left, which is an insane number. Oh, sure, but they had ten. They had more oh, yeah. than enough to wipe out all these efforts without any issue, and now they don't. Yeah, and again, push, yeah. Scruffy has double the army value and size. Yeah, Scruffy feels confident at this point, and yeah, this is when he goes for it. There's a full surround coming in from out Fox, but there's not quite enough units to really be a full surround. The Sharu comes in, Wind steps out of the Sharu fire, gets one Sharu immediately. Uh, but there's so few units left for out Fox as. Yeah. Scruffy is moving forward, wind stepping on top of those Hallowers, and seems like this is going to be all she wrote as Scruffy keeps going forward, going for the victory here. And Scruffy has really, yeah, has, yeah there's really uh, nothing Fox left nothing. in this opponent. I mean, I point out the Hallowers because if you notice, their fire rate's really low. Like, oh, yeah. Having 10 Hallowers is partly there so they have a consistent, consistent barrage. Because without that, you just, you just can't. <laughs> they don't shoot often enough. Yeah, and well, I, I appreciate the fighting spirit of uh, Outfox, but in the end, the writing was on the wall, and Scruffy moves on back to the grand finals. We'll face off against Magico once more. And that is the run back, so congratulations to Scruffy. I mean, gra congratulations to Outfox. This tournament was tough. They were against a lot of strong players, and they had. They basically had to come in on no sleep, apparently. Uh, not apparently, they were. 
streaming throughout the day, night? I mean, it's Australia, it's a bit different. Yeah, yeah they were streaming a bunch. Hours. And yeah, it's probably- At the cost it? of like, their own sleep. Yeah, I think it's like 4 a.m. for him right now or something. So, you know, it's a good time for a tournament. <laughs> it started, yeah, yeah it, I think started at 4 a.m. and now it's like 6.30. Yes. So they are still, like, the fact is they went, they got third place on their first, I think, tournament 1v1 after playing the game for about two or three weeks. Yeah. And they just, for him. yeah, they did really well. Yeah, I hope we can see him again because it's going to be pretty hard for him to come back again. <laughs> Oof. It's going to, uh, yeah. Ho hopefully he doesn't need sleep. Let's just say that. Oh, they need sleep. They should go to bed. Yeah, no, I mean, for next time if he wants to join again. Oh, he yeah, yeah, I know. Hopefully they, they're able to get in with reasonable amount of rest. <laughs>